recognize this building? It is St. Paul's Cathedral in Belgium, and it has one of the coolest, funniest stories about a Lucifer statue that you've ever heard. And this is where the story begins with Joseph Leafs. He is commissioned to create the statue of Lucifer, the fallen angel, for the cathedral, which I thought was an odd choice for a statue to be in the cathedral, but it just gets juicier. Unbeknownst to the church, Joseph Geese was known for his home artwork, and especially artwork that made the male figure the star. And he made his Lucifer statue in the same vein. This was a huge deal. It was causing women to lose their minds, the queer community to lose their minds in Belgium. This is not what the church wanted. I don't know what they wanted from this statue, but this is not it. They commission his brother, Keith's brother, Julian, and he comes up with the genius of evil, which is another statue of Lucifer. And this one is arguably even more seductive, if you will. More chains, more whips, more abs, more veins in the muscles. I'm s I don't know. Did they not look into the portfolio? It's like when you get a tattoo, you look in the portfolio. This statue is at St. Paul's Cathedral in Belgium to this day. And I think that's beautiful. And if that's not LGBTQ history, I don't know what is. But you be the judge. Which, which one do you think should have stayed? Love you, bye!